This is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. All right, this is how to activate the ARC audio return channel on the HDMI and HDMI control. So everything goes through the surround sound receiver and the TV will turn on the receiver and the TV turn off with the receiver in sync, synchronized. All right, so this is, um, I'm using these two remotes. So first thing you want to do on the TV remote, hit menu button. And you hit the menu button, pulls up right here. When you go to system settings, the system options by hitting left and right, up and down, and then this is the enter. And then hit down, down. This will either say simple link or aqua aquos link or HDMI control on Sony. And then go ahead and hit the enter button. And then you want the link control on, okay. which is the HDMI control on or a simple link. An LG is called simple link. And uh, Samsung is called AnyNet. All right, hit down. That's auto power on. When it means auto power on, that means it's sending a pow power on signal. When you turn on the TV, the TV will send a power on signal through the HDMI cable to the receiver, turning on the receiver at the same time as the TV. All right, so you want that on. And audio return channel, we set to auto. So if you plug it into HDMI 1, which is, uh, I think on um, the Sharp TV, it's HDMI 1 is the ARC. On uh, Samsung, it's HDMI 2. But we set that to audio. So whatever, if you hook up all your audio video cables to your TV straight, and then your HDMI is connected audio out of your receiver. So you have ARC audio out of your um, your surround sound receiver, and this one is a TX-NR616 Onkyo receiver. So I got a uh, HDMI out to HDMI 1 input on here. No, Just like that. So HDMI 1 is Onkyo receiver, HDMI 2 is a cable box, and then uh, component video is the DVD player. Do you use an HDMI 1? You got it to work? Yeah. Yep, and uh, so once these settings are correct right here, let's go ahead and uh, hit menu and exit out. So that's all set. Now we have to go to the surround sound receiver. And then what you want to do on the surround sound receiver is hit the setup button. So hit the receiver button first, then the setup button. Actually, the first thing you want to do is make sure you set change the HDMI 1. So hit the in TV input button. I got the TV button. So the TV input button, you want to switch it to HDMI 1, the ARC input. Sorry about that. Now on here, you want to hit receiver and then point at the, re and then hit the setup button. And then this would come up on the screen. And you want to go down. Where is it? Uh, now you actually, on here you actually, it was a setup button on the older receivers. And this new receiver is the audio home button. Okay. All right, hit right arrow, right arrow, and go to setup. All right, now click on that. And then you go down, 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 down to HDMI right there. Mm -hmm. You want to go to HDMI settings. It could be under it's under hardware setup. Click on that. Go down HDMI. Click on HDMI. And then you want to do HDMI control. Set that to on. Right. Then go down. Auto return channel. Set that to auto. Okay. Okay? Yep. And then that's it. And then you would hit return to get out of that. And then return, return, return. Okay. All right. Now you could change the input. Now what we want to do is change the TV input back to the cable or back to cable. 
All right, here's, I'm gonna test it out. Let's go ahead and hit TV, power, and TV turns off the receiver. Uh, it's working. Cool. TV, power, I, sometimes it takes 10 seconds to boot down. So just give it like good 10 seconds. Now that just had... Let's try it again, like TV, power, all right, see that white light that yeah. came on on the bottom right there? And then it, it takes about like 10 seconds yeah. to react. And then there. Yeah. So this, turn this on. So now, and it'll switch it to TV CD input. All right, and then it takes about another five seconds to kick on the audio. Okay. So be patient. Now when you hit TV, volume up, it says Aquos Audio. Now he's running for Senate. But for the family's going forward, Connie Mack's party tab. Majority pack is responsible for So everything's working. Yeah. Next TMZ, Lindsay's a suspect again. How many times? All right. Even mute works. So the mute works through the receiver. That's it. That's how you do it. Cool.